Hey, what's up everybody? This is Daniel Lopez, the Blind Samurai, and today I was going to set up the board, the Tony Hawk skateboard with the new stuff. Okay, most of it is in here. We're going to start with the truck. I kind of pre-set up one of the trucks already, just to show you the difference with the kingpin on and, the, and as it came. Alrighty, let me see which one. This one, okay. Here are both of them. I don't know if you could see them here on the video or not. This is the one that has the crux, the crux down low kingpin at, on my right. So it's probably your guys' left. I'm not sure or it's your guys' right too because the camera is... I'm using the front camera to record. So this one right here I'm touching. That one is the one with the crux. And this one on the left is the original. I'm going to turn them around just in case you could see the pin a little bit different. The difference that I felt is that the one with the crux down low king pin even though it kind of sticks a little bit up about like uh around the hanger size or a little bit above it's it doesn't get like uh, st stuck on my finger like let's say if i put my finger like that through the hanger it just like bumps it to the other side which is pretty cool and that will be coming in in handy while you're grinding while the one it came with the kingpin it came with, you do that, you know, it's going to snag on your finger. It's going to snag on whatever you're grinding on, and you could probably fall or it will stop and throw you off the skateboard. And I will show you how I installed this. The kingpin on here. I was going to show you, too, also the difference between the two kingpins. See, we're gonna need this little Allen wrench that came with the crux kingpin. Right here is the original kingpin to the to the truck. This little it has this square here, so it could get stuck inside to the base while you're turning the screw. And it has these two washers. They're flat on the top. Remember that. So this screw is flat on the top and on the bottom. I mean, not the screw, the washer, sorry. Okay. And the crux kingpin. It's pretty cool the way they made this. I'm not sure it has everything on here. Yeah. Okay, the, cru the crux kingpin, it's pretty cool because as you... It has a smooth edge on the on the back or the head of the of the screw, and it also has a hole for the Allen wrench, and that is very important. It also has the nut here, the bolt. What's cool about this, um, the washers on this one, it has a countersink. It has a countersink, so when you tighten up the, the kingpin, oh, let me see, I think I have the wrong one. Oh. They're going to get it, it's going to get in there. Let me see. Oh, crap, this one feels like it doesn't have a countersink. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's right here. I put them on the wrong way. Uh, okay, so it has a countersink. So when you tighten this up, it's going to adjust right here. Let me show you. Let me demonstrate that for you fellers. 
So when you screw it on there, it's going to stay flat. It's not going to be sticking out or anything like that. And this one's going to go on the bottom one. On the bottom, I forgot what they're called. The bushing. On the bottom bushing, because it's the bigger one. I dropped the nut around here, which is an uh-oh moment. Crap. Okay, the uh oh moment just turned into a shit moment because <laughs> this video is not gonna get edited. It was just gonna be an easy table video, and I can't find the stupid nut. Oh, here we go. Found it. Ooh, yeah, and it's very hot here. I had to turn off the air so I could make the video with better sound for you guys. So I am suffering right now. <clears throat> All right, cool. So we're going to start setting up this truck right here, the one with the original stuff on there. I'll move this one out of the way. Oh, I'm going to get my skate tool. So I'm going to need my skate tool for this and the Allen, Allen key that came with a crux down low. Okay. And as I am going, I will tell you guys what would you have to do different. Or <clears throat> I was checking out some videos on on the people that do this for the uh, kingpin, for the crux kingpin. A lot of the videos, either people didn't know how to explain what the hell they were doing, or they were putting the these things on wrong. So I figured out how to put it on. Because these, these crux kingpins are called inverted, right? So inverted means upside down. And I will show you right now what that means for this truck. I mean, this kingpin. Okay, so right now I am unscrewing the truck. The kingpin from the regular truck. The regular kingpin. Okay, so the nut on this, let's say it's going to be right here by the hanger. So the way you, the regular trucks, kingpins are, are inserted, they're inserted through the base, which is this part, the base, the squared part of the truck, the one that goes screwed onto the skateboard itself. So, okay. So <clears throat> it's inserted through, through there, through the bottom. Here I am pulling it out. And I have the bushings here, the original, I mean, the original bushings and washers, which we're going to have to also replace with a, with a, with a trucks one, I mean, with a crux one. So let me, I'm just going to do it how I did the other one first. So I'm going to do it that way. I don't know if there's it's probably an easier way, but. Should have probably done that first, uh, just to make sure I don't lose anything. I'm gonna place it on the table. I'm gonna unscrew, unscrew the pin. Okay. And I'm gonna take off the washers for the for the crux. Okay. 
And remember how I said this is, it says inverted, right? The inverted kingpin. So instead of going under, oh shit, under through the base. Oh. I'm gonna have to find these now. Uh oh. That's okay. Let's see. This video is turning into a disaster. Hopefully this thing didn't come out and I think it did come out. Yeah, fuck. And this is not what happened last time when I <laughs> when I installed it. It's missing the little pivot cup. Oh no, it's right here. The pivot cup is inserted, so everything's good. That's an important piece. So as I was saying, the other the other one was inserted through the bottom of the base. And it and it goes up so you could lock it on the top of the nut, right? So the crux pins you insert it through the hanger side. So that would be like the top, right? Or just the hanger side. And you're gonna tighten it from inside the base. That's why it's called inverted. So you're gonna put it through the top. Now I have to find the other pieces of the truck. Give me a moment. Okay, all these good new pieces are over here. The old pieces are over here. I got this, people. And here's the pieces from the older Kingpin. They are metal, which is a good thing. I'm going to put them over here aside so I won't mix them up. And the bushings. Okay. So these bushings, the bottom one's gonna go on the base side, like a pyramid going up. And the top one is gonna go on the hanger side, also inverted, <laughs> pointing down. So it's gonna look like a little cup or a bowl. And I'm also going to use the washers for the truck, for the, the crux. The bigger ones for the bigger one. There we go. Sorry, because sometimes my hands get like cramped up. And the smaller one with a countersink is going to go. Hopefully you could see. If not, uh-oh. Yeah, this did not happen. <laughs> this did not happen the other time, but it's okay. You get to watch me more or I get to do this video, which I love making videos for you guys. And look, that's perfect. So that's gonna give a really nice um smooth <clears throat> edge for the for the skateboard. Okay. <clears throat> And it's going to be pointed out. Let me see. This one feels like a bigger one. Is it? Crap. There we go. And this one's going to be pointing down. It's going to fit right into that little cup. Okay. And from there, we're going to put it into the truck. Inverted through the hanger. There we go. And then under here, inside this one, you put, I don't know if you guys can see, if you cannot see, the truck has a metal piece separating both bushings. So you're just gonna put those in there. And now,
There we go. Voila. So <clears throat> now that we did that, we're going to get the nut. I'm going to grab my nut. <laughs> I'm going to put it. So I'm going to press on the on the kingpin from the top so it could stay stay in place. And we're going to go to the base. So the base is gonna turn turn around. The base is right there. There's the um, kingpin, and this is a tricky part. So I'm gonna have to do it a little bit odd. Not odd, but I'm gonna press on the kingpin top with my index finger. Turn everything around. Or use my middle finger now. Turn everything around. Look for the nut again. Put the nut on top of the on the screw. So you're gonna screw it in. First, you. I don't know. I think the easy way to do it is I'm gonna have to tighten it, hand tighten it first. Well, actually, the easiest way, I'm going to put my my thumb on there. My thumb is on the top of the nut <laughs> and on the kingpin. So what I'm going to have to do is the kingpin. I'm going to start screwing the, the kingpin in with this um, Allen wrench. And the Allen wrench came with a kingpin, so that's pretty cool. So you just keep turning it and turning it until the until the screw gets into the nut, which it just fell out. Well, <clears throat> yeah, but it's okay. Don't give up. If yeah, I was gonna say if a blind guy could do it, you could do it too. So yeah, you keep turning it and turning it. Right now it feels kind of loose, but you'll get it. <clears throat> Let me see. For some reason it's not going in. Make sure you're holding the nut the correct way up, like with the rounded sided off. Okay, so once you start turning it, there's enough space here inside the base for it to hold the nut down. So now that I spin it a couple of times, I don't really have to hold it down. I just keep spinning uh, the the kingpin. Let me see if you could see that in there. The nut is already getting held in place by the inside of the base. So all you do, so all you do is you have to just tighten it up. Tighten it, and I'll get to a point where it stops. So until you could, let me see. You could go and go until you can't go anymore. Sometimes when you're tightening things up, you tighten them until it stops, and then you give it a little extra. But this one, it just goes to a complete halt, where it's nice and tight, like right there. So everything's nice and tight in there now. Giggity. And let me see, just in case. Mm. Yeah, there we go. The truck is all assembled. Let me just make sure it has the washer in there. It's nice and, let me see, nice and flush. Wait, bleh. yeah. It's nice and flush in there. Okay, this one has, yeah, everything's good. So now let me bring the other one. I'm gonna set this other, oh crap, this other kingpin aside. 
the older kingpin. I'm gonna set it aside. So cool. Now the two trucks are. Let me get the other truck to show you guys. Even though you saw it already. If I could find it. <laughs> there we go. Bam. They feel really nice. I'm pretty sure they look really cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the trucks onto the board. We're going to take off the old ones. This is probably the longest setup you ever, you guys ever watched, but hey, I'm a blind guy. Here we go. This awesome Tony Hawk board. Hopefully I don't move the tables too much or anything. To take them off, I'm gonna use this the the T tool again. It has a little Allen key in here that has a screw on it, a screwdriver, right there. And we're gonna use the longer part of the T tool to take off the nuts and bolts of the skateboard here. Probably just, I don't know, loosen these up. Probably they could just come off if I loosen them up. The nuts and bolts and the bolts. I mean the nuts. <laughs> or maybe I'll just loosen them up for a bit and uh, with a tool. And then I'll unloosen them or take them off with my hand. Sometimes the when you're untightening them if you're not using the screwdriver the screwdriver the stupid screw is just going to be spinning with a nut Ooh, yeah. but after i change these i'm pretty sure that it's going to be skatable now the skateboard is going to start rolling If not, I have a backup plan for you guys. I just don't want to spoil, spoil the surprise. Yeah, it seems like some of these are not turning, so I'm going to have to use this tool, which I didn't really want to use it. Because it's going to be harder for me to find the stupid things. And like I was saying earlier, my, my fingers kind of don't... They get like cramped up or something due to diabetes. <laughs> okay. I apologize for this it's taking long. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Blind guy. Um, Setting up a skateboard. How cool is that? And it's really hot, so I turned off the AC. Ooh, to make this video. switch the board side just so to see if I can do it easier with <clears throat> by switching the what's it called nope it's not easier um the the thing I'm having trouble with right now is finding the screw the the head so I could um untighten it I found one right now Sometimes I find them and then my hand moves a little bit and I'm like, no, I lost it again. But I found it. I should probably take out the screws. Oh no, doesn't matter. They're not, they're not gonna... Okay, I lost one of the nuts. <laughs> Oh, 
I was going to say, I'm not going to step on the screw and it's going to hurt me anyways. It's not going to hurt me because they're not the uh, pointy screws. These are like flat on the bottom. Yeah, I really didn't think it was going to take this long to do. I mean, I've done it before because I had to take off the plastic that came with the... There was plastic under the trucks on this, on the pole board. Yeah. But right now, let me see if I had some editing stuff. I could have probably fast forward this part and put some cool music. There's other nut I took off. Yeah, if something ends up happening, like I losing the like the nuts for the the replacement stuff, I'm gonna have to continue this video <laughs> or make some other a second part. Hopefully that does not happen, and it feels like I'm scratching up the the grip tape on the board right now. But that's okay, no problem, no big deal. This probably, <clears throat> let me see, uh, I didn't think this was going to be the hardest part to do, but this is probably going to be just the hardest part to do. Putting them back on, it's a lot easier. Well, I still have to look for the, the screws and everything, but it's going to be a lot easier putting it back on the new ones. I did get new hardware with the new trucks. So I don't think I'm going to be needing needing these, the ones I'm taking off right now. And I just decided to just switch them all anyways, like, for the new stuff. Instead of leaving the old stuff on here. Crap. I'm going to just take them off like that, or do I need to unscrew the screws again? Because I know if you just take them off, it's probably not such a good thing. Probably makes the, what's it called? Like the holes in the, in the board a lot bigger. But it seems like I'm going to have to unscrew them. I don't really like this little Allen key screwdriver. It's, it's too small. I would rather have a, a regular screwdriver, but I don't know where it's at. I had like a bunch of tools. I had a bunch of um, tools for, for working on cars. Because that's what I like to do. Let me see, this, this screw is just coming out by itself. Now it's turning a little bit. So I'll do that. I kind of didn't want to just push them out because, like I said, it's going to mess up the hole on the, on the board. And then they'll probably crack easier. Or something. Oh yeah, well I was going to say about the, about the yeah, down low trucks. I might not be able to use them that much anyway, so I just wanted um for the board and and for the sake of the video to make it a little bit cooler, the board cooler and the video. Crap! I can't find these stupid screws. It's giving me trouble. Phew. It's going to be a long one. Giggity. All right. I found one. It's going out. And sometimes I remember on my old boards, I would, when I would start unscrewing the screws, um, they would just spin. Sometimes you had to push them out through the other end. Like kind of push them while you're unscrewing them. So they could come out faster or easier. I 
and that's what I'm doing with this one right now. Probably when I get enough about enough of it out out, I could just finish with a hand. Giggity. And it's gonna be easier. <laughs> it's gonna be easier. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes when I'm tired I'm I get all giggly and stuff. She has seen me in college. I was laughing all the time because I had to work. I was doing security jobs and <clears throat> and I was at college, so I was working and studying. I was studying business major. I did get my associates of science for business, but then they closed that school down and I couldn't keep pursuing my career goal. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, and I've been coughing a lot lately, like a lot of allergy, like there's been kind of windy or gusty. Oh crap, I just pushed in the stupid screw <laughs> back into the board. Yeah. Maybe I will edit this video, I don't know. Depends how long it takes me to do this. It shouldn't have been taking this long. I did this stuff a lot quicker last time. I don't know why it's taking on. Probably just pull it. Trucks out. Okay. That worked. So I'm just going to do that with the other one. I pulled the stupid truck out. Just for the sake of time. <laughs> Okay, there's only one more screw left. So I think I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do the other truck too. So I could, before I put the trucks in, the new trucks, the screws unscrewing so it didn't just wanna pop out. Let me, let me know what you guys think about how to take the trucks off. Should you just pop them out like that? Or unscrew the screw. Okay, there goes one. Okay. And what else? Let me see. I don't know if I have anything else. What should I talk about? I'm gonna untighten these up first by themselves because that seems to be the easiest thing to do. Um, let me see, business major. I was already studying for my bachelor's degree and they closed down the school. But I don't even think that school counts now as this real school because it was at um it was at Everest College. And yeah, something happened with that school that they had to close them all down or something. There was only two of those schools here in California. And they closed they closed them down. Or at least they closed down the one I was in. Um they had another one where they were they were showing like a dental hygienist and more like medical stuff. I didn't do that one. I wanted a the business major because the business Major, you could use it for a lot of a lot of different careers, which is pretty cool. You know, I could be the owner or boss of whatever other career that was under that. That's why I got interested in that. It was pretty fun. Yeah, but like how I was tired a lot because of work. I would um, just laugh a lot sometimes in some classes or have my giggity moments. Like every time the teacher would say something, I'd be like giggity and make people laugh. <clears throat> and then what I really liked about that was making the presentations because we used PowerPoint and I was really good at that. 
I'm making my presentations and I want to make them funny. Yeah. Crap. Oh no. I just dropped this stupid T tool. Let me put this here. Maybe it'd be easier if I just work on the table this way as well. We'll see right now. It's because I don't want to knock out down the camera because it's on a, on a different table behind this table. So I kind of didn't want to do this. Okay, it seems like now the stupid screw is just spinning with a... <clears throat> with a um, nut. Yeah, when you put it back in, it, it's giggity, it's a lot easier because you could just hold down the screw and then turn it with your hand. But when you're taking it off, it's... It's stupid. <laughs> yeah, I have to look for it. Ooh. I'm sweating over here. I'm gonna put this set it down on the floor. I'm not gonna need it anyways. We'll see if we could unscrew these with the hand. Nope. Yeah, if you know easier a way to do this stuff, let me know in the comments. <laughs> if you're still watching right now, thank you for still watching. <laughs> if you fast forward, hey, you fast forward, you cheated. Yeah, stupid things just tricky. Which is also probably a bad thing. If it just turns with this. There, I found the one I'm working on. Yeah. And let me see. What else? What else? Yes, I can't wait till this board is done remastered <laughs> remastered upgraded that's gonna be really cool hopefully it does move smoother and it starts writing on the other video where i was skating it i wasn't messing around it, it really wasn't moving it's like damn Plus, I'm not that light. I'm pretty. I'm a pretty heavy guy. I'm a pretty big guy. Um, although I did lose some weight with the new way that I'm eating now. Although I I eat a bunch of food, but it's all carbs, so it just like magically goes away. The weight, I mean, because I eat like like for for example, one one food. Would be like four to five cups of spaghetti that I eat. That's in one sitting. So they give me like this really big um, salad bowl. Full of spaghetti. <laughs> and I eat that. And if I'm not full after finishing that, I eat more spaghetti until I get full. Or if I get grossed out or want to eat something else, I just eat something else. Okay, the screw didn't want to get out completely, but the the nut went got out. Let me look for the other ones. What other one do I need? Okay, I need the two here near the center. 
I'm almost done, I think. Yeah, I think one of them just lost the bolt, or I don't know what, what happened to it. But yeah, this is pretty good grip tape. I could feel it on my hand, like, scratching my fingerprints off. Crap. I mean, I know people with more experience could do this with blindfolded or with their eyes closed, but I haven't really been in the skateboard um, scene in a really long time. I just thought it, w it would be cool to do something to do. Just like how I thought about the swords, I, I was like, oh, it'd be cool to learn how to use a sword because I didn't know. I mean, I always thought about it. I was like, I have a katana, but it was that stupid cheap plastic. Not plastic, but you know what I mean. It's, I have a video of it. It's called My First Katana or My First Katana Ever. And yeah, I didn't really give it too much mind or thought to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to learn how to use this and cut stuff with it. But I'm glad I did though. It's pretty cool. It's fun. <clears throat> Here's this stupid thing. I don't know why I couldn't get to it. Yeah, sometimes doing the things blindfolded or without being able to see is a lot harder. Sometimes it does get frustrating. But, you know, sometimes you can't get help. If I could get help, I like asking for help. This video, I wanted to do it myself, though. Like, yeah. I wanted to do it myself. It's always nice to get help though. Like if it, like, I am going to get help putting the rails on it. Because just because I want it straight. I want them straight on there. And like half an inch from the edge. Which will be pretty cool because they'll be like pretty nice and lined up. Shit, I thought I was gonna be able to take it off with my hand, but not yet. Yeah, these trucks probably got messed up too because of my weight. Because <laughs> they're all plastic. They're. They are plastic and um, also the. Cause the axle of the truck's like right on the wheel. That thing's plastic too. I thought it was metal. Oh man, this is taking way too long. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. But if you don't have anything else to do, it's pretty cool to watch. Support my videos. Support me. Sometimes I just go binge watching other people. Uh, yeah, this thing does not want to cooperate. Hooey. I can't get. Let me see. Okay, here we go. I didn't even need to do anything anymore. Why was I trying to take off a nut on there if it 
I don't know. Okay, I got them all off finally. So, let me see what the hell is this. Okay, it's the other truck. Oh man, what a struggle. We're almost there. Okay, here we go. Thing is off. Feels plasticky. <laughs> the graphic. I feel that when I turn on the AC, it's gonna be cold in here. Uh, okay. Let me see, where's the other trucks? I need to get the new hardware out now. Although the other hardware was pretty new, I think this is made especially for these trucks because yeah, because I don't know if these are other color, they're shiny or they're just metal. I see. I want to make sure I don't lose anything. Allen key is okay. New trucks. Oh yeah. With the um downloads on here. And what's cool is if I need to tighten it, well, I think they don't go any more tight than this. But okay, when you put the trucks on, you're gonna have to put it with the bushings going inwards inside. And these trucks have like like six holes in it, so hopefully it will fit. I didn't even think about that until right now. And they should fit, so. I do not know where I left the hardware for it. Let me see. Here we go. Hopefully I don't drop any of this stuff. Oh man. I don't know if any there's any colored ones in here if there are. They they're usually to indicate which ones are the the front trucks. If there are a different colored ones or something, I'll just have to change them later. Doesn't matter to me because I can't see, but just so for the aesthetics of the board. Damn, I can't open this bag. Okay, these are one inch uh, screws. Wow, these feel huge. Giggity. I will need four for the first truck. <clears throat> All right, I think I should put the nut in first, like as soon as I put the screw. Sometimes it's hard because I can't tell. It's harder for me to tell which side. Oh crap. Which side of the nut? Okay, this one feels a lot easier to tell. Yeah, maybe I should have. Oh. Yeah, if anything wrong happens in this video, <laughs> I'm going to have to make it to be continued and just finish some other time. Let me see where I feel a hole in the board. Yeah, maybe I should do this. I'm going to take this thing on. Take everything off of the board. And then I'll put in the screw in here. It's going to be easier touching this part of the board because I could tell right away. Okay, here we go. Bam. <clears throat> mm, that's staying in place, but I don't want to risk it. 
que there's two holes on here but I will see I'm, I'm gonna put it on the on the furthest And the hole that is furthest and then put a little screw on there. Oh boy. Let's see. <laughs> Stupid nut just turned in my hand. Oh man. Wait, why the hell do I feel uh, another hole on the board? I apologize for all the cussing and swearing. This thing does not want to turn. We'll leave it in there like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> I'm starting to feel that the other ones were better hardware than this, but I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. I want to put it on the bottom ones or the more centered to see if it's going to fit. I'm going to move the board a little bit up. Here we go. Way off. Nope. One more try. All right, we got it. So it is on the most outer ones. Making sure, okay, that's there. Yeah. Making sure I have the nut on the right side. Uh -huh. Okay, this one seemed to go in a little bit better than the other one. Let me see why did why this one didn't go in. Oh, okay, there we go. Started spinning inside. We still have. I feel I dropped a, a nut or something here, a screw. Hopefully it didn't fall all the way to the floor or something. I do have diabetic fingers, so. Wait, is this one of the new ones or the older ones? I think it's the new ones. I'm not sure. I am not sure now, so I'm going to leave it here for a bit. Probably the new one, one of the new ones. But we'll just wait. It, yeah. Screw when the nut. Have you ever seen anyone struggle so much with something? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> if it's still recording, I don't even know if it's still recording. I have, if I had enough memory on my phone to record this long. Uh, how long are we into the video? Like 30 minutes? Probably more. But we're getting there. We are getting there. Ugh. Let me see. It didn't go in. You get it? 
shit, no. <laughs> Please. Oh, I'll put it on this part. Oh, okay. I mean, on this side. Yeah, I was trying to look for a BAM board, a BAM Margera board, if you guys know any. Anywhere I could get one. I tried a lot of websites and stuff like that, but they're they're sold out everywhere. The one I want is the purple one that says BAM and it's a element board. I think I had the nut the wrong way. I had it upside down. <clears throat> but yeah, the BAM board. I know a lot of people on eBay are selling them like for ridiculous like three hundred dollars and stuff like that these boards only cost like 30 to 40 bucks and it sucks that they do that i mean i i would understand if they sell it like twice like probably 70 bucks maybe even a hundred bucks you know to make some money off of it but 300 that's messed up that means people like me is never going to have a fan board. Ooh. Yeah, today, I, I don't know, I, I wanted to do this. I said I could just do it later or whatever. But I also wanted to make a video of it, of me doing this. But it's too much of a struggle struggling too much i didn't think it was gonna be this bad but it's therapeutic uh yeah it was either this watch more youtube videos or probably just go to sleep because i already ate so i don't know was not gonna eat again I ate, uh, what was it? I ate, um, like a cup of beans, a cup of rice, and a, and a can of corn. And added some Southwest Chipotle uh, spice on there. It's powder. Get that at Food for Less. And that was pretty good. And sometimes I have that on salad, like I get a regular salad. I mean, just like lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, like kind of like a sandwich, but without the bread. And then add all the other weird stuff to it. As dressings, I like mustard and apple cider vinegar. That's all the dressing I want or for my salads that I like on my salads. The rest of the dressings like ranch, Thousand Island, and other stuff, they're pretty bad for you. I would notice with, with diabetes, uh, my blood sugar not going down when I would eat that. When I would eat those dressings. The screw doesn't want to go on there for some reason. I mean, not screw the, the nut. Oh, there we go. As soon as I said that, the shit went in. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm going to tighten them up with a T-tool and the Allen wrench. Crap. Here we go. I'm going to put that between this and that. You know, this is being quite a, a struggle. But it's all for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> um, what I'm doing right now is I'm pushing in the screw. 
with a with a screwdriver and I'm tightening up the the nut but it feels like it's not gonna tighten. Hmm interesting What the hell? see here am I on the right one is I doing the right one I don't know Shit. I never so much in my videos but damn I don't know what's going on today very interesting as someone would say oh man it's starting to be a pain. These screws seem to be too small because they kind of feel like they're not screwing onto the to the truck or the bolt or the board. Because as I'm spinning the nut right here, it should be tightening up. The screw should be tightening, but it's not it's not lifting or anything either. Or maybe I should just hold on to this and, and screw the I mean I kinda did, but not really. I'm gonna just turn it around and I'm gonna screw the screw and hold the nut <laughs> hold my nuts. Yeah. Crap, if I'm gonna do it that way, I'm gonna have to turn it around. So I can hold the nut. Like I said, it's harder to do with this stupid little tool. I mean, it comes in handy, but it's harder to turn, especially because my fingers cramp up a lot. It's easier to find the screw because they're popping out because I'm pushing it in with a inward, I mean outward with a T tool. Go ahead, let me let me know. Yeah. And let me see what else. My birthday is coming up. Um, I'll let you guys find out when my birthday is. Um, I'll give you a hint. Look, look for some of my earlier videos, and you'll find my birthday there. You'll be like, "Hey, I know when your birthday is now," and I'll be like, "Cool." I don't know what's going on. Why isn't this stupid thing turning? Okay, I'll go for this bottom one.
feels like the I think the bolt's too small. I mean the nut. What the hell? Yeah, this is weird. I'm gonna try it on the other hand again because my right hand doesn't seem to be tightening anything up. Hmm. Let me try it another way. I mean, oh shit. Unless the screwdriver is uh, an Allen. I'm gonna try with the Allen side. That's probably it. Oh shit. <laughs> it was it. Okay. Okay, this screw. Oh no, please. Okay, these screws, instead of doing it with a regular screwdriver side, um, the skate tool comes with an Allen key. And that's what I had to do. That's why they don't spin, because I had to do it with an Allen key. Now that I found that out, this should be uh, easier to do now. I didn't think that would be the case, but that was exactly the case. Yeah, I know it's tightening up. You can feel it. Oh, yuck. Man, I feel dumb. <laughs> I just blame it on the blindness because if I wasn't blind, I was I was gonna be able to see. I was using the wrong thing on my bob on the screw that I needed to use the Allen key, not the screw part. Okay, I found it. Yeah, still setting up the board. Hopefully I didn't drop any of the new hardware. After this, the the <laughs> the wheel the wheels and the rest of the stuff is gonna be pretty much easy to do. Hopefully. <clears throat> These things I kind of don't want to tighten them way too much because Tightening on both sides on the same time, but sometimes it does get kind of hard to do. Shit, and I dropped the tool again. What's a skating skateboard video without bad words, right? <laughs> 